this one. This is the end profile of it. So that's the cutter I use. I love this though, as this rod does that you could adjust the height from the top. Um, you can you, you can put in a little spanner to raise or lower it, or socket should I say. Or you can put in your speed drill and just for speed. So we raise that. I just want the bottom of the curve of the bead just to be flush with the table because uh, you don't you don't want to be to be taking out a rebate and a bead so that's it there of course you always test it with a sample first And that's the bead just catching the round. This my first attempt. You can see that it wasn't high enough. It's still caught in the corner. Notice here. It's maybe too close. The the bead is stepped in too far from here, which right up against it. There's a wee gap there, which the door. If this is a door or a drawer front. The door would have to be set back there, and of course it's going in too much. Yep, it's about 3mm. Easy. I'm not sure if you can see that. 3mm. That's it touching. Right, that's it now. Right, on to the next part now. Join the four bits together. That's the draw unit. So the bead frames that are on here, they always go right up to the top. And then the ones that go long ways, they come off the side. Right guys, I'm just getting set up for the joining of the two pieces together. This is the top of the bead frame. And the joint between the two of them. Now I only want to miter the bead. It's just a bead only, that wee bit there. This, what I've got in my hand, is actually the top part of the draw unit. And it is situated there. So we've got to form that junction. And I've set up a wee jig here. And um, this is my chop saw, Makita. Makita. They're the best, are they? They're the best chop saw. And I've had this one for like 25 years. Listen to it. Even sounds old, does it? So that when it hits that stop there, and then I've got a stop gauge on the Makita, as all Makitas have got a stop gauge, so that I pull it down and then I'll cut it, and it cuts it bang on the 45 degree angle. And then I chisel away the remainder so that this will fit in together. Also, I've got a wee block here. This is what I fix to my bench so that if I've got to just tidy up a wee bit. Let's see there. That there. If I've got to tidy up the mitre, if the mitre's cut there, you'll see me do that. Whereas I've got an exact guide to follow for chiseling it, just to pair off if there's a bee's wing to take off. You know what a bee's wing is? That's that's our international um, definition of uh, 0.10 of a millimeter as a bee's wing. Already cut a couple of them. Cut that end there. So there's that end there. Of course, the top rail. There's a lot of one. Here it is. The top rail is narrower than the bottom rail. So 
So can we cut the bottom rail out this end now. So you'll see that I've set up a stop. It goes against that stop and that's my first cut. That's most of it nibbled away. I'm just going to tidy it up with a chisel now. Notice how everything squeaks in my workshop, even me. I think it's the age. Let's have a look at it. So. Here it is coming together and it just needs a wee touch up to there and that too will get screwed together through the side rail. Yeah, this is me clamping this onto the side of here because I just want to take a wee bee's wing off. I can feel that bee's wing with my finger there. So once I've clamped it to there, that's bang on 45 degrees. So we a nice sh sharp chisel. I need two hands to do this. I could just pair up even with a nice sharp chisel with one hand. I'm still just pairing that away. And that gets it. So that there's no guesswork. Let me put the camera down so that I can be as proper. It's clamped in place, it's held, that's my 45 degree angle, and I'll just swivel in a wee bit. Just nibble it, nibble it. That's it. Don't try and go for a one off, because you'll be more accurate if you just slide it with a nice slice and action. That's it there. Enough for me for that to come together and this be nice and flush here so that two of them come together. Not that joint done, so that's two joints, two to go. Four drawers, one, two, three, four, and that side, four, and that side, and that side. This is my, my way of doing it, and I'm not a teacher, so there are other ways of doing it. So I'll put on some music, and I'll just finish this video where we time lapse. Right there, we'll have it. That's it, Dan. Now I'll go and uh, upload this video, I'm trying to keep it less than 10 minutes, so that because we've all got to do our jobs. Can hear the way our hearts 